The next event on the biblical prophetic calendar of the church, and so Christians believe there is a timeline of events that are supposed to happen before Christ comes back. Well, the next event on that calendar that Christians believe will happen is an event known as the rapture. How many of you guys have heard the term rapture before? All right, most Christians, if you've been to any Christian bookstore or if you've spent any amount of time around Christians, you know that the rapture, um, or at least my definition, is a term that's used to describe a supernatural stealth event. And I call it stealth because it's very quick, it's sudden, it's not something you see coming. It's a supernatural stealth event still in our future, which will physically unite every Christian on earth with Jesus Christ in one single day moment. It's an instant event that happens in our future that will unite every Christian on earth, on the planet at the time with Jesus Christ. Perhaps a better way, I was thinking about how do you, how do we explain, I know you guys have been in church, you know what the rapture is, but how do you explain the rapture to somebody who's not a Christian? And the only thing that came to mind was, was to describe it as an abrupt emergency mass evacuation of every Christian on earth by Jesus Christ himself. So maybe that helps you a little better. The rapture is a mass evacuation, sudden mass evacuation of every Christian on earth. Now, that leads to the question, why are followers of Jesus Christ hurriedly evacuated from earth? Like, what's, do you ever wonder, what's the purpose of the rapture? What's the purpose of being hurriedly evacuated? Well, uh, when you think about it, the answer is actually a little bit sobering. And it's sobering because the reason why Jesus has the rapture, the reason why he evacuates every Christian is the same reason why any community here on earth today would suddenly be evacuated. Why would that happen today? Why would we have an evacuation today? I'm asking you guys. Storm, Storm, right? Something disastrous is on its way, right? Something bad is going to happen really soon. And so the authorities coming to your neighborhood say, you need to forget everything, pack up, get out the house. Well, that exactly what happens, and when you consider the impact of the sudden evacuation of every Christian from this world, think about the, what it, the implications of what that means for hundreds and thousands and millions of people around the world. The world literally temporarily falls into chaos. The rapture happens. It's followed by a seven-year period known as the tribulation period. And this, the Bible describes the seven-year period as a time when the world would experience incredible economic meltdowns, increased demonic activity, unbelievable amount of bloodshed and slaughter, cosmic disturbances, natural and unnatural disasters unlike anything that's ever been known. The words worst day ever will be true of every day during that seven-year period. Merry Christmas. 